What's up everyone, Duquesne23 here and welcome to my very first Halo Master Chief Collection Forge tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be explaining on how to make a functioning elevator and towards the end of this video I'll be explaining how to download people's maps currently off of the file share system. So enjoy the gameplay on how the actual elevator works and the tutorial itself will start at 2 minutes and 47 seconds. Okay, so we are now in Forge and now we can tear this map apart and stuff so we can, you know, learn how to build an elevator. Uh, guys, now all this stuff right here is just ex extra aesthetics and stuff that I covered up all the behind the scenes stuff just so, you know, you won't see all the inner workings and everything. So we could go ahead and delete that uh, so y'all now can see the everything on the inside, which it's really just... A garage door it's very simple guys this is very simple to be able to create um, so here let me delete this side also so you can see everything oh, oh wait grab it uh, one thing to be careful about garage doors uh, they even cover like see how I can still select a garage door even though there's nothing there that's because that's where these garage doors lower into they lower into this part uh, so it's still you can select them for here. So be very careful whenever you're grabbing objects making sure that you have the correct one uh, So there we go. D just delete that delete the 5x5 five five. So you can see everything see I still had that garage door there for a little while But there we go now y'all can see the inner workings of it here I'll show y'all real quick of what it looks like uh, without you know um, all the stuff there so you trigger that and see how the garage doors are lowering into um, everything that's normally these garage doors are flipped over right now that's that's the reason why they look like that uh, because normally this part is the part that you walk on uh, so they're flipped over so these are the bottom um, areas now the reason why I flip these over is because this door is uh, has to be shut and the one door has to be open so you have to have if I would have flipped these around the other way, then that means both doors would have been shut. And whenever I triggered that console, then both doors would have opened. 
Uh, so then, you know, both of them are open. And then once you're coming back down, then both of them shut. And then you're kind of trapped in here and stuff. Uh, so that's why you flip these around the opposite direction. So this is the initial walkway where people can walk into. And then these doors will open whenever you trigger it. And these doors will shut. I hope you all understand that. Uh, so now let's look into the scripting here uh, for the object pieces. Um, now this console and toggle switch is the exact same as this one over here, but I will take a look at that one over there in a second. Uh, now guys, whenever you're scripting, this console switch has nothing to do with anything. Uh, it just is a pretty looking deal. You can have something hold in the holding in the middle of the air. Like if I go up to this, it says nothing. If I go up to this toggle switch, it says hold B to use. And that's what triggers it. It has nothing to do with this. It just, this disappears whenever you're in a custom game and it makes it look like you're actually activating the console itself. Uh, so let's go ahead and trigger that again so it lowers back down. Um, so just to, that's a good thing to remember. If you want the wax screen to show up, on here so that's like if you go to scripting and go to change the broadcast channel to one you want to link anything that's using uh the broadcast channel like it let's say you want uh this gate to open that's why this gates at a broadcast channel one uh because of the fact that this toggle right here is at a broadcast channel one also that means whenever you do this switch It'll do anything that's on the broadcast channel one. It'll, you know, activate that. So if anything that you want activated on broadcast channel one, uh, you know, just, you know, put it on channel one and everything will activate with this single switch. Uh, if you want something to activate on broadcast channel two, three, four, five, six, whatever, uh, just, you know, change the toggle switch uh, to whatever number you want it to and then change, you know, whatever you want to activate to whatever number you want it to. I hope that y'all understand all this. I hope I'm not being a little too complicated here. Um, but yeah, so pretty much you're just gonna get these uh, toggle switches, which you can find these switches here. Let me get out of here so I can get it. You can find these switches um, naturally in the scripting, and then you can go to triggers for a bunch of different stuff. You could go to timers for different timer things, or you could go to switches, and that's where the switch toggle is. Uh, so that means you can switch it, you know, toggle it uh, multiple times. If you have something where it's just switch on or off, you could just, that's literally just turning it on and just turning it off. Toggle means you could turn it on and off. You can keep uh, hitting B on it uh, for infinity. Uh, so that, you know, is where you get that. And let's see here. Now let's go um, over to here. I'll get to this whole elevator part in a second, guys. Um, this is the exact same thing. I used a different type of switch here. Uh, for if I, if I don't grab the garage door um, or the trim, here we go. I use a different type of switch here. It's not just the typical one uh, that is over there. This is just a different one. Um, so you can use multiple different types of switches. And it's the same thing. Uh, you know, here's the switch toggle that I used from right over there, that one. It's the exact same thing. I just duplicated it and just moved it over here because this one activates also on one. Uh, whenever you activate it so uh, pretty much now let's go ahead you know this top door part is the exact same with this door just make sure it's on uh, the scripting the broadcast channel one and it'll activate at the same time you trigger all these little triggers and stuff uh, so now let's go ahead and go down here let's delete this 5x5 five five that I have just blocking all this messy stuff down here and what do you know, there's just another garage door. That's all it is, guys, is just a bunch of garage doors everywhere. And what happens is, make sure that whatever platform you want, uh, right here, this landing pad, if I could select it, because I'm grabbing garage doors, there we go, landing pad. Just make sure it's on physics normal. If you do physics fixed or phased, it will not move. Uh, so make sure it's on normal physics so it will move, you know, with the objects whenever it's getting pushed. And just garage doors again, just make sure you have the, oops, make sure you have the garage doors on the scripting to broadcast channel one. And, you know, I just put one on this side and one on this side. And so that way, whenever you come over here, here, let me quickly, I'll trigger it. And then I'll fly underneath there so you can see. And there you go. See how it's lifting up that platform right there? 
Now, something to be aware of, guys. This platform, since it's, uh, it will despawn. So you got to remember that. Make sure you do turn the spawn time to one. So whenever it does despawn, it respawns pretty much immediately. And But unfortunately, if you're waiting up here, it will respawn down there and it will be glitched inside these poles right here. So uh, that's just unfortunate with all the normal physics stuff. It will despawn to where it originally showed up. And if it does that, no worries. Uh, whenever it despawns and it's like phased into all these objects, you could just trigger the thing again. It's just like if you know if it was uh, you know bringing the lift to you, you could trigger it again. Eventually, these deals will go back underneath it, and it'll be just like normal. Uh, so that's something to remember there. Uh, so guys, I think that is pretty much it. I don't know if there's anything else i'm trying to look around to see if there's anything else i need to tell y'all oh one thing that i need to remember to tell y'all here hold on one second let me go ahead and trigger this down uh so i can show y'all this okay so one thing i did was place these beams right here so this rests on top of it uh the reason why see it stops and so it rests on top of it is because this is a tiny bit une uneven at the top so it will show up kind of crooked. So I have this kind of just resting on top of it and that's it. So just uh, that's just something that y'all can just add to whatever your elevator is doing. Now guys, y'all can create an elevator of whatever size you want to do. You can do this for just a single like a uh, Spartan or you can do it as big as the one I did right here with, you know, for like vehicles and stuff. Uh, now one thing to also remember, uh, if you do have it with vehicles, uh, if you have it where the entrance is right here and the exit is right up above, the vehicles will have to turn around inside the elevator or, you know, reverse out of the elevator. Um, so that's something to think about. You could always grab these garage doors and this entire platform and everything and move it to this side where this glass is. So that way, whenever vehicles drive in, it goes up and then they can just keep driving out. They don't have to turn around. Uh, that's something to remember. Uh, so guys, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope this wasn't too confusing. I know it sounds a little bit confusing. If, if this video was too confusing you know, to be able to listen to, um, this map will be in my file share so y'all can go check it out, uh, download it, just tweak you know the map yourself, just look at it you know and learn everything on it. Uh, and also guys, in order to be able to download from file share right now that you know it's not up on the website yet. Uh, in order to be able to download from Fireshare, uh, all you have to do is follow me. My Xbox Live Gamer tag is Ducane23, D-U-C-A-I-N 23, just like my YouTube channel. And all you have to do is follow me, uh, you know, on Xbox. And then just you have to unfortunately wait till I am online, which I'm pretty much online all day. Uh, and so then you can download, you know, uh, my map by selecting my name. Uh, it's you know somewhat simple. It's not uh, too difficult. Here I'll show y'all real quick on someone else's um, file share, which I don't think anyone has anything made. But hey, I'll still show it on someone else's file share. Uh, but yeah, pretty much you just have to uh, select their name on the in-game menu, and that's why they have to be online. Uh, and they of course have to be your friend because they have to show up so just you know make sure you're following me and I'll show up as your friend and uh, Then you can download this map. Uh, so here. Let's go ahead and get in here See if anyone shows up watch. No one's gonna show up uh, Good old Master Chief Collection screwing up right now. Uh, I can't get into it It says zero friends online, but it is so guys I will cut back to this whenever it's actually showing up Okay guys, we actually have the people showing up now and we will go ahead and go into uh, Knockyard's um, file share, which you, that's pretty much all you have to do is, you know, go to your, one of your friends, click on that uh, A button over their name, scroll down to the file share, and it will, you know, eventually make it over to their file share. And he has zero files in his file share. Oh wait. Nope, we have three map variants in his file share. Uh, grip ball. Uh, so he apparently has some grip ball stuff in there. Um, so there we go. Uh, that's pretty interesting. But yeah, so that's all you have to do. And then you just click A and then you click A again to download. It's very simple. 
so just make sure, guys, if y'all want to download this map, just make sure you go follow me. My gamer tag is Duquesne23, and just do what I just uh, did right then. And guys, subscribe if y'all enjoyed this for more tutorials and Forge, and you know multiple different types of map tutorials and everything. And I will see y'all next time. Later, guys.